welcome back for day 30 of my 31 days of Halloween series. I cannot believe we're already on day 30. Fun fact, this look was actually the final tutorial I filmed. So to say it was bittersweet would be an understatement. To celebrate Devil's Night, I thought I'd invite you guys to a feast. Product details and all that fun stuff will be in the video description below. Let's get started. Something may seem a little bit different about me, and it's not my nails. Although it is, this is not a wig. I spontaneously decided to dye my hair black and get bangs and I'm feeling pretty damn fierce. It's still so weird not to be a redhead, but let's jump into it. Before I applied my foundation, I made sure to moisturize both my face and my lips and then grabbed my favorite face primer and applied that all over. For my base, I grabbed this liquid highlighter by L'Oreal, applied that on the back of my hand, and then grabbed my lightest foundation I owned and mixed the two together, just to give a little bit more of a dewy finish. I then applied my everyday concealer underneath my eyes and around my nose a little bit. I was having the most hilarious time trying to blend out my damn concealer with these damn nails, but I managed. Go ahead and set your base makeup with some translucent powder. And then I decided to go in with that same liquid highlighter and directly apply that to the high points of my face. Instead of coffee, even though it was past midnight at this point, I opted for red wine in celebration of the last tutorial of this month, because I'm a classy woman. I then grabbed the lightest contour shade I owned and applied that to my cheekbones, as well as underneath my jaw and my chin. For blush, I used a berry toned one. I then decided to prime my eyes with a eyeshadow primer. For brows, since my hair is so darn dark now, I get to use all the dark shades. So I went in with a dark taupe color for the majority of my brow, and then for the tail, I just feathered in some black. Not gonna lie, I may have sinned a little bit and splurged on the newest Kat Von D palette, but I had to. Isn't it just beautiful? So the first shadow I dusted over my entire lid and brow bone is called Amen. Once I set my lids, I took Martyr on a fluffy brush and applied that to my crease. Using a denser brush, I packed on Worship over two-thirds of my lid and blended that out with the same fluffy brush we used before just to diffuse it a bit better. I then snagged Exorcism and applied that to my outer corners. And then to brighten up the corners of the eyes, I took both Amen and Baptism. I was in the mood for creating a halo eye, but decided to do a sort of two-toned halo eye. So I grabbed Exorcism again and packed that on on the inner corners of my eyes. For the center of my lid, I took both Absolution and Cathedral two of the prettiest shadows I've ever witnessed in my life. When I first saw this palette, I was instantly drawn to the color Immaculate, amongst a few others, so I applied that all over my lower lid. And the last shadow I applied was of course Relic for the inner corners. I then lined my eyes with some black liquid liner. At this point, you can also toss on mascara and your choice of lashes. For the lips, I first lined my entire lips with a red lip liner before applying this beautiful red lipstick by Sephora. And then I decided, of course, to do an ombre lip just to make it even more dramatic. So I used a Kat Von D liquid lipstick and applied that to my outer corners, blending it out with a small lip brush and then swiping over that same red lipstick again to blend it in. I then used some black glitter and applied that to my lips. To make it stick better if you're not using super liquidy lipstick is to mix the glitter in with some gloss. However, if you're adding glitter to your lips like I did, just so you know, it's gonna transfer onto any drinks you may have at dinner. 
for the lace neckline I body painted on, fairly simple to do, you really only need black body paint. But I started out using some grey body paint to start creating a jewel to serve as a center point. I then outlined the jewel in black and added a few details here and there to make it look more 3D. Before grabbing some silver body paint and creating all of the metal work around the jewel. The biggest tip I can give you is to use the smallest paintbrush you can possibly find. This way you can create all those little tiny details that's going to make the lace that much cooler. I then decided to create a chain and some more gems on the bottom of that just to add a little bit more interest to the lace. For the body of the lace corset collar thingamajig, you can really do whatever design you want. I compiled a few reference images and kind of compiled them all into one idea. So if I liked one design from one reference photo, I used that and same for all the others. I also decided to outline all the detail on the metalwork just so that it popped better. My favorite part of the lace piece is probably the little scallops at the top. What I really like about this body paint idea is that you can take it as far as you want. If you want to do your whole shoulders, you can even do your whole arms if you had the time and patience. Heck, you can even do just a small choker if you wanted. And I like how you can cater it to your body and create your own design for it. So since I knew I wanted to wear a shirt that went off my shoulders, I decided to carry that design outwards. Do some touch-ups here and there for your makeup, and there you have it. Dinner is served. Happy Devil's Night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.